Hey guys, welcome to the episode number 7 of the career mode of saving Chivas, guys. And it's official, Dorados is gonna go to second division already, guys, in the real tournament in the Liga MX. And we just have to see who's gonna be our new team on FIFA 17. Uh, they're gonna be starting the playoffs already on the second division in Mexico. So here we go, guys. Our next game is gonna be with Veracruz, guys. And I hope you guys like ne this new color correction I'm doing on my videos. Uh, the colors will look a lot better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And right here, Omar Bravo with his first opportunity with a shot and Mileton. Uh, with that save and then Lopez saving that one and it was gonna be a corner kick right here guys and no other than no other than El Avion Ramirez scoring that goal for Chivas uh, he used to be started with Chapo de la Torre but now uh, Almeida just subs him and some, and sometimes and so here scoring his first goal right here guys you guys can see that hitter he's a pretty good dribbler guys in real life he reminds me a lot of el venado medina because he kind of dribbles like him and that's a little bit of skilling sometimes right here vera cruz gets that equalizer i did not tackle uh, that good guys so um Veracruz managed to get that uh, that equalizer at the minute 45 just before going to halftime guys so here we go that replay once again um, missed uh, couldn't get that tackle he gets open and he shoots that one to make it a 1-1 and that's gonna be second goal for Menendez um, and right here guys they managed to steal the ball away from me and here Salcedo gets the ball back but they get the ball back and here we go they do this shot but it's not gonna be a problem and then Lugo with this pass to Furch and Furch managed to score that one and it makes it a 2-1 guys so we were losing at the 80 minute 80 minutes and we're we're now losing 2-1 once again the goal of Furch right here hits the post and what a, a goal from Furch guys and that's gonna be his third goal in the clausura tournament guys uh, right here they managed to get this last opportunity big goal sub guys the game ends in a 2-1 so that's gonna be uh one one loss for us and here is the simulation guys of the players i'm training we're training kota guys uh just because i want him to see his rating to go up our next game guys was gonna be against chiapas so we were gonna be doing some changes right here guys we were gonna keep bravo but we needed to do uh some changes uh, so we we're gonna take out Lopez. He's tired. Bring in Brizuela. Also bring in Cisneros to give him some chance. Take out Peñas for rest, and we're gonna bring in. Um, who should we bring in? Let's bring in um, Guzman, the the center defensive mid that's currently playing in Pachuca, which he's supposed to be returning to Chivas in the next i uh, next year. So. We'll see how it goes. Actually, this year on um on the next tournament, so on the next Apertura tournament, he should be returning. Our next game is against Chiapas. It's having a very tough um season this year. They're doing so bad. Uh, the team is not even pay paying the players, uh, but they have to pay. It's not that they're not paying to them, but their payments are a little bit late uh, on the players. You know, like. Um, I think this month they pay them like the the payment from 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 around uh, February. I think they just paid them the payment from February, so they're having uh, some t some terrible thing on the tr on the club, which is kind of bad, you know. But right here, Spuliveda. Hope I said it right, cause a lot of you guys. Have messaged me. You don't know how to say Spuliveda, so if I misspell, like I cannot say his name. Sorry, man. Uh, right here, guys. Orbelin gets the ball. Uh, tries to pass dribble. Orbelin with the ball again, with the shot, and Jimenez with the save. A lot, a lot of people say that Jimenez looks like Ochoa in real life. So <laughs> what a go right here from Carlos Cisneros, guys. But yeah. Uh, very nice goal from from Carlos Cisneros scoring that too, sir. Look at what what a goal! He 
puts it in the far post and Jimenez was not gonna get to that one. Carlos Cisneros, his first goal in the clausura. So very good goal from Carlos Cisneros to make it a 2 0, guys. So here we go uh, to the next half, guys. Second half, right here once again. Cisneros with the with the nice pass. Here we go, Cisneros with the pass. No other than Cone Brizuela managed to score that one and make it a three zero, guys. So now we were winning three zero, which was a very good score for Chivas right here, guys. But look at that goal. Uh, and and Brizuela is has his first goal in the Clausura tournament, but then Chiapas wasn't gonna give up right here, guys. No other than Romero, guys, scoring that header to make it a three-one, guys. So let's go ahead and see the replay of that beautiful goal and beautiful header from Romero, guys. Look at that! That that cross was perfect. And Romero just needed to put, uh, to head it in for that one goal for Chiapas. And then, guys, right here to get us in a counterattack. Nice pass to Hurtado. And we br bring it Cota. And Cota gets the ball. But once again, Hurtado gets a chance through the other side. And they managed to score the 3 2 on the 72 men. At this moment, guys, I was. Getting nervous, I thought that we we're gonna be coming back, so we were defending pretty good when we're still seeing that replay of the goal from Hurtado, guys. So I decided to do some changes, guys. I decided to bring in Michael Perez and take out Guzman because Guzman was going to attack too much and Perez was more of a defender. We managed to win that game, guys. In our next game, guys, we were gonna be playing Santos Laguna. So right here, guys, did some changes, and you guys will see after this game why I did these changes, because some players were uh, a little bit tired, and, and also uh, we were gonna be playing a very important game in the next game, so uh, that's why, guys. So we were playing, you could say, with our, with our second team right here. Salcedo was gonna be playing as a center back, so... Uh, Salcido, not Salcedo, yeah, Salcido playing him as a center back, and right here, guys, first opportunity, and it goes way up, and then Santos had this great opportunity also to score, guys, with this cross, Antonio Rodriguez, they was playing this match, uh, getting that one out, and in the second half, they bring in Dajani, and we also brought in some players, we brought in Eric Torres and Michael Perez to do something, try and uh, get that goal guys and right here what a pass to Chofis Lopez Chofi Lopez puts that one in the in, a, uh, in the back of the net guys not a problem Eduardo Lopez or oh, Javier Eduardo Lopez La Chofis that's what what's his name is guys so uh, he did it was gonna do a great goal this past Clasico Tapatio but uh, the goalkeeper of Atlas was pretty good and right here, once again, the replay, guys, of that goal. So, Eduardo Lopez with three goals in the torneo a clausura. And right here, Santos got this opportunity, guys. Diani with the cross. And Me Molina, that's a very tall center defensive mid, managed to score that one and makes it a 1-1, one -one, scoring the equalizer, guys. Let's look once again into that replay. What a cross and Molina alone to score to Rodriguez. So that was going to be Molina's second goal. And then, guys, we got this opportunity right here. But Martinez seen saving that one, guys, without a problem. What a save from, from Martinez. And then right here, guys, Eric Torres passes to uh, Perez. Perez to Ramirez. Avion Ramirez is going to put in the back of the net, guys. To make it a 2-1, guys, we were winning that game. So, in the 80 minute, guys, Ramirez scoring that beautiful goal. So, let's go ahead, guys, and take a look at that goal right there, guys. So, here we go. Very nice pass from Perez and Perez scoring that goal. So, I guess the change worked for us. Perez giving that assist to Jose David, David Ramirez. So, here we go, guys. That game does end in a 2-1, um, guys. So, three points for us. Very important points. And here is the simulation, guys.
So it was time for the Libertadores in our group we had Colo Colo, Independiente Medellin and also River Plate guys and we're gonna be playing first against River Plate guys. Yes it's La Copa Libertadores which Chivas might be playing in 2017 guys because they have half of the ticket to go to the Libertadores all they have to do is beat Vera Cruz on Los An Angeles or the or Los Angeles. That's where they're gonna be playing Vera Cruz for the ticket to go to Libertadores. And we were gonna be playing against the River Play guys in El Monumental where I think Chivas already play. I'm pretty sure they already play. They have played against River Boca, the big clubs on Libertadores Chivas in the past. And here is our group guys, Colo Colo Medellin with one point. And we're in River. We're, we're playing that first game, guys. So, whoever, if we win, we manage to be in the first spot on the group. And here we go, guys. Let's get into the game of the Copa Libertadores. Right here, great pass to Orbelin. Orbelin with the ball right here. Tries two cuts inside, but great defending by River. So, that wasn't going to be a problem. Right here, they get a free kick, guys. They managed to pass that one to the um mandanda and mandanda with the cross but cota with the save not a problem then right here guys we managed to steal the ball but the ref caused a foul which i didn't see any foul i saw orbelin stealing the ball right right away orbelin gets penalty so once again orbelin being the best player here playing as a as a cam and Omar Bravo is gonna put that in the back of the net to make it a 1-0 guys so we were winning this game by one goal now and River play was actually losing so if we could walk out with this great result in the Copa Libertadores would be great guys so here we go Omar Bravo first goal in the it's called Copa Latin America but everybody knows it's Copa Libertadores and that's cause um EA doesn't have the race for uh, the Copa Libertadores or Champions. They have a um, pass has it, so that's why, guys. So here we go. Gule Pena, a very good counterattack. Passes to Brizuela. Brizuela with the pace right here, guys. Tries to pass it to... I tried to pass it to the guy that was on the penalty spot, but it, it tried to pass to the other guy. And then right here, Orbelin with the shot. And that's going to be the 2 0, guys. Orbelin is never going to miss that. And that makes it a 2 0, guys. So what a goal from Orbelin Pineda. Look at this pass also. What a pass. What an assist. Orbelin Pineda with the left shoots and scores that 2 0, guys. So great, great goal. Oh, and that's going to be also Orbelin Pineda's first goal in the Copa Latin America or Copa Libertadores. And right here, guys, they give a pass to but the Cota comes out and they manage to tie the game in a 2-1, guys. 2-1 and they manage to... Actually, they managed to score the game, not tie the game. Yeah, managed to score. Sorry about that, guys, if I said tight. No, um, actually managed to... Uh, to score one goal, and that was an equalizer, but no, it wasn't an equalizer. And then Orbelin right here, and what a, a slight tackle by Lucho Gonzalez. And Lucho, remember Lucho Porto Lucho? Yeah, it's him, and he gets red carded for that slight tackle. I used to like that dude, um, foot, foot hair card. And right there, guys, with the shot, Omar Bravo by him is the penalty, and the game is gonna be ending right here, guys, in a 2-1 and we managed to go with those three points in Club Atletico River played stadium there guys. So let's go into our next game is going to be a Liga against Pachuca and this game is actually going to be happening guys uh, this week that's coming up. So here we go guys do some changes what's going to play with alternative team because we're going to be having another Libertadores game in the next game. So here we go guys. So here is the team. So then we're going to be playing with the main players. And we were the best record. We hadn't lose in the Stadio of Chivas. So we, are, we haven't lost this tournament in the Stadio from Chivas. So that is a good record. Right here guys. Lozano with the nice cross. But look at that. Defending by no other than our defender. And right here guys. They get us in a counter attack with the cross. But that's not going to be a problem. And right here, guys, then we get this chance, but Villanueva with the miss. 
Villanueva, that right back misses that one, guys. Oh, my God. It was going to be a very good opportunity, guys. Guys, and right here, the game that's come to an end. Okay, guys, so it was time for the Copa Libertadores. So let's go into the Copa Libertadores. And we were going to be playing Colo Colo. So we are going to do some changes. Take out Ramirez, bring in Cisneros, and bring in Brizuela, guys. So they, this game was going to be a tough game. Guys, Colo Colo has a pretty good goalkeeper. And they also have Paredes. Yes, that striker they used to play in Querétaro. That he actually left. Uh, left. Um, left from Querétaro because he missed his country and he, he went back to Colo Colo. And here we go, guys, uh, with that first save from Cota. And once again, guys, they were pretty good. Cota saving a lot of shots. Then right here, we got a corner, guys. An Orbelin opportunity tries to pass, but great defending by them. And then right here, guys, another chance they couldn't be that good. And they got this opportunity and not a problem. So I did some sub. Angel Spuliveda has been very good for us. We brought him in for Bravo in the second half, guys. Right here, Cone Brizola passes to Gule Pena. Gule Pena tries for a cross, but not a problem there. They're defending pretty good. Right here, Gule Pena had an opportunity, but the goalkeeper being pretty good. And then we had this counterattack with Spuliveda, guys. Taking Spuliveda, taking everybody out right here, guys. He managed to get still get the ball to uh, Cisneros, but it goes out without a problem for Colo Colo. And that game comes to an end, guys, in the equalizer. So we did not manage to take uh, those three points. We work walk out with one point, so that's not bad, guys. That's not bad at all, so we'll take those three points. So let's simulate, guys, the rest of this game guys so like you guys can see guys we're in actually uh fourth place in the um table in the tournament mexico clausura league so um here we go guys very good spot there and we are actually in second place in the group a guys so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode guys of saving chivas um and i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time adios Thank you.